Hello everybody, my name is Dude Man and welcome back to some more Simply Magic. Okay. So, holy shit, this took me some time. I had to do some testings here and there. But the way I have this set up. Excuse me, um This is gonna be able to house a a well of suffering. These holes here are supposed to be like the placements of the ruins. I tested it out. I mean I kind of built around the ruin placement. So it will, you know, work and stuff. And it'll be uh, and it will be able to automatically you know, place it. But let's see, I'll just bomb got things off camera. Um only a space matters. I need to get the ritual diviner that can place dust cubes. And the way to get that, I need two demonic slates with two elemental inscription tools of dusk. And pretty much the one I I have at the moment. So it is possible to get these demonic slates as long as long as you have it here for altar and two imbued slates. Um, It's not. Weird. Okay, I guess not. I remember. What the frick? Okay, whatever. I'll get. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do here. I'm gonna have to try and like get like redstone to be like be able to turn these things on and off. Watch this to see how this goes. I haven't tested this out yet, but apparently it's doing its job. I do have another one over there that's pushing them. Thankfully, I have it too, I have it too far away to where. I'm gonna put one over there because of that. Ow! Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I think it seems like it's working pretty well. I'm surprised at how well it's working, to be completely honest. So I wasn't expecting it to work well that well. I was expecting some uh, issues here and there, but I guess not. I was able to pull it off pretty well. Nice. Okay. So I need some blood. What does it cost? Each one costs about 15,000 LP. Wait. Okay. So give me a second, I need to uh, get some blood, get some demonic slates. No, oh, thank god. Ooh. Two demonic slates, noise. Alright. Whatever. Where did I go? Whatever. Oh my god, I wish there was a sun muffler in this game, but there isn't. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we need that, which is just two blocks of coal and two LP each. That's why I had those blocks of coal. I'm wondering, like, why do I have two blocks of coal in my uh, ender chest? It's confusing the crap out of me. Like, what the fuck? And then put this ritual diviner, and bam. There we go. Awesome. Virtual Diviner. Tier 2, pretty much. Um, so yeah, it can place Dusk Ruins. There's also a Tier 3 that can place Dusk and Dawn Ruins, but we don't have to do any rituals that require those things yet, so... Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna go turn this thing off. Go. Well, it's suffering, and there we go. It all being placed, and have a boom. Awesome. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. So now the thing is, with the ritual, or with any ritual. Oh my goodness, those things are really annoying. I'm gonna have to put freaking signs there instead of pressure plates, because that's annoying as hell. Okay, so the thing is, with any ritual, you can turn it on and off with a redstone signal. The thing is, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. 
do that because they're gonna, they're gonna blow out. Out of here. Why are you up there? Oh, uh, it should be working. Why isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about the activation crystal. Do I... Can it work with a weak one? Let's see. So I'm not completely sure. Oh, it can work, it can work, the rush of energy the ritual, and there it goes, it's working. Awesome. Um, so, keep running at all times, but I are clock. <laughs> I hate when they do that, it's so annoying. They just blew up, didn't they? Yeah, they blew up. Fuck. <sighs> that sucks. <clears throat> Alright. So now we pretty much have automated blood. As long as this thing works and stuff. And this uh, cool little image here. What is that sound? And there you go. That's pretty much how you get her going. You get her going. <gasps> What the heck happened? Why, is it, why are there two blocks of Thaumium? I am getting confused by the minute here. What the f- <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Why are there- Whatever. Um, that's okay for now. For the thing is, I want to, um... Make an item that I found in Thumbcraft that's called Thumbstatic Thomas, Thomas, Thomas Spire, which is pretty much a way to re recharge your Thumbstatic Harness, but by the use of ore notes, kind of like how we recharge our wands, which is really awesome. So this is what it requires. It takes iron, uh, another quartz, some air shards, and a little essentia to you, but then we also need the Thumbstatic Controller, which is the bit of infusion. Arg. <laughs> and that's pretty much the construction of it. So I'm gonna have to make these things real quick. So, just a quartz block. So, yeah, I'll be right back once I get this stuff. Well, oh, I didn't mean to throw all that. Okay. Well, we have a slight problem. Remember the golem that randomly died? Apparently, the well of suffering did kill him. The core's down, I have to make it again, that's nice. I turned it off, but... Apparently it killed all my golems up here too. God damn it. Oh my god, all those cores, man. Ah! <clears throat> Fuck's sake. This game hates me. Okay, so... From what I've heard, or read, is that... Apparently the Will of Suffering does have a 5 to 10 block radius or range Range up and down or even left or right. I would say even like around it or something possibly uh, It would also explain well, you know, he's like like under the well, I don't know I think it, it's actually a radius to be honest because The golems up there are not even like in the middle where this thing is so but I'm gonna put it under under my ritual or my uh, whole setup here for the blood thing, because apparently it does have a pretty damn long range. Um, ah, what the fuck? All these things again? You guys do nothing. Why do you even try? Holy shit! Oh, it's like a. How the hell did he hit me? He must have like the same like uh, range as a regular spider. Yeah. Fuckers. 
These guys are more annoying than those stupid jungle bats from that one mod. Alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to reposition my well submarine. So everything's still gonna be the same. Ah, okay, so. <coughs> let's see. Our seeds are. Oh, these are Terra seed here. Has grown. Ooh. Imbued grain. What do I do for this? What do I use for this for? What do I use for this? What do I use this for? I cannot even talk today. Um. Apparently, I can turn it into a potion. Does it say what it does? It fuses potions, summons barriers between mobs and that, and that attack you. That's. I don't know. I might just store this somewhere. What the heck? This dirt has like one piece of terra in it. That's interesting. Put that back in there. Huh. By the way, if you're hearing like banging in the background, that's actually the wind. It's pretty damn windy today. Jesus. Whoa! It gave me like a full stack of glass. Why? <laughs> Why did it give me a full stack of glass? Can anybody explain that? What the fuck? I don't understand that. And this one gave me sand. Can I actually automate this? Oh my god, are you serious? Does this, act Does this normally happen? This isn't just isn't by some weird chance. Um, I think the ones that the one okay the seeds that aren't every seed except for uh, Ordo and Perdito apparently they give me random ass seeds or these things here these grains and stuff but these guys these guys give me glass and sand I think and that's also some weird chance of that happening I'm gonna get I have to make the lamp of growth that was weird. It's <laughs> just out of nowhere. Bam! Glass, sand. There you go. Have fun with it. Oh man, that was weird. That was something. Okay. So when we finally get this started here, got all the stuff I need. Yes, I do. much air? I need 50. Oh fuck, I forgot about air! Alright, cool. Finally, let's, <clears throat> let's do this. Ow! Quit it! Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. How dangerous is this? This is moderate. That's, that's surprising. I gotta put some more stabilizers around. Um, so while we're waiting for this, I found out that it is impossible, well, it's probably possible, I just can't think of it at the moment, but for what I know, it's impossible for me to farm off of Wither Skeletons and have it automate Withers for us, or at least for me to activate a Wither for me automatically without having me to go kill Wither Skeletons and all that stuff. So. I mean, I should thank Moyang for not having with the skeletons be their own mob so of copy and pasting a skeleton and having them a little bit higher. They don't even have their own spawn egg, you know, which is even worse. And I can't even like copy, or I can't even like store them. There we go. Finally got this thing. I can't even like store them in uh in those wrath cages because only the skeleton spawn because it's just pointed out a skeleton, so I can't fucking farm off a with the skeleton, so that's nice. I don't know, I could be completely wrong, you can correct me if I'm wrong, if it's if, if it's still possible to, holy crap, that's a lot of stuff, if it's still possible to farm off of with the skeletons, but uh, as far as I know, I can't think of anything to where I can, um, you know, Farm off with the skeletons, pretty much. So that kind of sucks. It's fantastic. Okay, so the last thing we need is a block of thomium. All right. I always thought that thomium was like the hardest thing to, not the hardest thing, but it was always such a hassle to make because it was so hard to make sometimes. But 
obviously it's not. <laughs> so, okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to put it up here. I mean, it's like right next to here, so it's not a big, big deal. I mean, yes, it may look weird, but oh well. It kind of looks like a, like a, uh, it kind of looks like a freaking antenna or something, so whatever. Okay, so let's see, let's put that there. I think it's like this. There we go. Bam! I guess we have to hit the middle. Cool. Okay, so how do I. Alright, let's read this then. The stomach spiral, blah, stomach static spiral, which enables, which enables has this several requirements, which must be met to that little group, construct it and keep it functioning. First step is to create two thermostatic pylon blocks and a thermostatic controller. A chisel quartz block and a block of thomium are also required. Next, the components components must be placed in a suitable location. The chisel quartz block goes on the bottom. And the block and the thumbing block should be on the top. With the pylons and controller placed in any order between them with no gaps, the thumbing block must have, have an empty space above it and an obstructed view upward to the upper of sky. Once everything is in place, right click on the controller with your wand. Ah, my wand. So I just input air. Potentia, okay. Put the jar in there, put it in there. What the f Game! Why would it go in there? What the fuck? It's not. Let me relog. Okay. It's still not going in there. What the. Why the fuck is it not going in there? It's because of the jar I have? Is that it? It's still not going in there! What the fuck is going on? Okay. <sighs> okay, that would- Fuck you. <laughs> Why did the, oh my fr oh whatever it's still thomium <laughs> the blood decided to just break right there all right ah fuck's sake that was weird very weird okay oh boy I have moved everything. Put everything back to the way it was, but I moved this because apparently, like it's before, the well suffering has quite a bit of range when it comes to, you know, when, it, when it's working. So that kind of sucks. Oh well. So I've been loads of stuff. Like that. Okay. Please stay there. You stay there. <gasps> It's still getting him. Are you freaking serious? Okay, he's not getting damaged. Whew. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> I go have fun. I can't. Freedom coffin. He ain't taking out of these barrels here because, god dang, we're still struggling trying to maintain a good amount. Something's falling. <laughs> All right. So let's see, what should we do? Okay, tell it fell. If that happened. Um. We need, I think, a blood shard to get the fourth tier, or the master blood orb. Blood shard, yeah. Let's do that one though, for later. God, what the fuck? Just fall already! God, it's just slowly falling. Alright. So the things I I really want for sigils is mostly just sigil growth. Damn, it's not a lot. Holy shit! The only thing I want is the sigil of growth, which is this right here. Huh? Well, we have to make something else like this, else the sigil of holding. Uh. Okay. So yeah, let's make those real quick. So 
Sigil of Holding. Need Oak Sapling. Sure again. Reinforced Light is a course in the Depth of Blood Orb. We have your stuff. Now, by the way, these sigils will take from your blood network, so be careful when you're using these things. I mean, <laughs> so yes, be careful when using items like this. There you go, sigil folding. Um, it's also nice to have a second blood orb on you. Why are there items going in here? Why are there items in here? I'm really confused. Okay. Alright, now the sigil of holding. Oh my goodness, I need a mute slate. So, uh, four in slate, four blank slates, three smooth stone, a mute slate, and all that good stuff. So, let me get these things real quick. One thing we definitely need is uh, more of these uh, Rune of Sacrifice because if you take a look at Wayla, just uh, this thing being like mutated alone or upgraded, or whatever. Is going down quicker than we're gaining blood. So and we want to fix that. We want to get enough blood to where we can craft whatever we want and not worry about running out of blood while the thing is crafting or upgrading whatever. So that's a thing. Which of course, I mean, the, those things will help a lot. So we need more of those. Slates. And there we go. Sigil of Holding. Alright. Oh, sweet. It's like a little interface. That's nifty. Nice. Alright, so let's see. Let's. Oh, Ent must have spawned over here. And despawned, I guess. Let's see. Let's see if this, like, works on this thing. Well, that's what you have, clearly. So yeah, these things do give out sand and glass. R r like the most randomest fucking things that could ever give you is that. <laughs> so weird. All right, there we go. I have no idea why I was having trouble. And as you can see, it's working because our LP is going down. Not a lot, it seems like it's... Oops. I can't really tell because we're getting blood at the same time as well. <laughs> But I think it's like 10 LP per Luzius, or it consumes 10 LP however long. <clears throat> we have Tinker's Construct in the Orberry Bush. This also works for the Orberry Bushes. Positive about that because I remember having to use it, use this thing on the Berry Bushes from uh, what was it called? Running red and stuff. But yeah, look how fast that ever grows. It's probably almost the same as the lamp of growth, too. Pretty nice. So, yeah, there we go. That was Sigil of the Green Grove, which is pretty awesome. Love that thing. And bam, the Sigil of Magnetism. Awesome. Not really uh, useful at the moment for me, considering that uh, I don't ever have to worry about things falling off the edge. But whatever, it's useful to have, so be sure to have it. All right, let's <laughs> make one more sigil since that's, uh, since that's also a uh, a uh, a quest. I'm gonna make the lava sigil because this thing is pretty much like infinite lava, like the lower tier version of the ritual of. This is a ritual where you can actually have infinite lava as long as you have blood in your network. So, I'm gonna get these items real quick and I'll be right back. Died a couple of times because of uh, being AFK. What? Okay, finally able to get the lava sigil. <clears throat> like that. Bam. 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 Infinite lava as long as I have blood in my altar, or in my 
soul network, or whatever you want to call it. So, that's pretty cool. I also got an Eldritch Eye. Let me reposition, reposition my mic here. I got an Eldritch Eye from one of those Shadow Eldritch Guardian things. And to be honest, I thought that you, they, um, you can only get those eyes from the normal ones, not the shadow ones, but the normal ones like that, I think. Can't remember. <laughs> Whatever. But I do know you can get that, uh, that book that lets you, uh, give you the ability to open those portals to the Eldritch world. But yeah. Alright. Fine. Got that thing. Which is cool. Finally. <clears throat> All right. So now the imper imperfect ritual stone. Okay, what's that? Let's make this real quick and just end things off here. All right. Not bad. Some obsidian and some uh, smooth stone. And there we go. The imperfect ritual stone. Which of course is not really needed unless if you want to do some. Uh, Oh, yeah. Isn't the imperfect ritual stone that thing that you can do in certain tiny rituals? I can't remember. What is this for? Okay, so. So, yeah, I think that should be it for today, honestly. Let's see. Let's do that. That was very loud. Huh. Get into, the, get into some demon summoning. It's quite a bit to do, but I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think <clears throat> um, we should get into some Batania and just try to get through the beginning like quick as possible because, well, I've, I've, I've done that so many freaking times, but of course I've still explained it in case some, some guy that has never played with Batania, you know, will be like, oh, okay, and this is how you do this and that, you know. <laughs> whatever. Let's see what um is in here. Okay, more of those aura crystals again. Yep. Pretty cool. I think ours magica might be the last thing I do or art. Or uh or uh or aura cascade or whatever this thing is called. I found out that this uh cascading machine is able to double your ore, like it's, uh, oh, okay, this, uh, processor thing will turn your ores into dust, into two dust, which can be smelted into two ingots. That's pretty cool. Holy crap. So, uh, I think, our, uh, ours magic might be the last thing I might do to find finish off this LP. This is actually taking a long time, but I love it, it's fun. I haven't done a long LP in a long time, you know. So yes, Botania will be doing next episode because uh, there's something, there's certain things in Botania that I want that can help me out with uh, blood magic and thumbcraft a little bit. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. I do want to try and uh, hopefully at the end of this, like in late in the late game, I'll be able to hopefully uh, automate the mana. Ho hopefully, I don't know. Still thinking on that actually now that I think about it a little, a little bit more. <laughs> so who knows. Alright, so anyways guys, if you want to try out this mod pack out for yourself, it's called Simply Magic. It's, uh, it's for 1.7.10 and all that stuff. And I have a link in the description below for the FTV launcher as well. So anyways guys, my name is Dude Man, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!